Welcome to Free Academic English. I'm Geraldine and today I'm very excited because I'm going to show you the insights of a very, very interesting book. Ta-da! Yes, it's the dictionary. A few weeks ago, I made a video that you can find in the YouTube channel of SBS Bookstores. And this video is about the world of dictionaries, where I talk about how you can get different dictionaries for different levels of English, but I really wanted to say more. So today I want to show you what this baby is like. I love dictionaries. I've also made a video about how your dictionary is your best friend, and it's important to get to know your best friend, right? So to really take advantage of everything a dictionary has to offer, you really need to uh, know it. So I'm gonna show you the features uh, besides, you know, having definitions of words, a dictionary can give you a lot more information than that. I can be a very helpful tool. Well, this particular dictionary is for advanced learners. What does this mean? that if you are C in the English level, you should understand everything this dictionary tries, tries to explain. But that doesn't mean that if you're a B student that is an intermediate student, you can't use it. It's very useful and it'll help you get into just only English speaking. Maybe if you're in level A, like that is basic, this dictionary is not for you yet, you can use it only that it'll take you longer to understand things, especially if you are kind of impatient and you like translations, because obviously this dictionary has no translations. It's monolingual, just English. And for example, I, I'm learning my Italian and I use monolingual dictionaries because I am trying to, to learn only in my target language. That doesn't mean that I understand all the definitions, definitely, I don't, but it's useful. Uh, a monolingual dictionary is always, always useful, especially if you know all the features it has. For example, this one, in addition to being this big book, it has some um, features that you can use online. It also comes, um, it also comes with a DVD. Uh, in addition to the online features that you have that you can get with the code uh, you have inside your book. Now, when you open the dictionary, you'll immediately find the abbreviations used in it. And if you continue with the following pages, there are 16 pages that explain how to use the dictionary. So it's not just that you have it and start looking for words because uh, more likely than not, you won't find what you are looking for, especially if it's like a very common word that has different meanings. But if you start from the beginning and read how um, you should use a dictionary, you will understand what a head word means, and what the different symbols it has mean, and how they can help you find the word you are actually looking for and also the symbols are not just going to be there or the abbreviations, symbols and weird words are not gonna be there to bother you but to increase your understanding of the word you're looking for. These first pages also tell you um, about some interesting symbols that the dictionary has like the Oxford 3000 that is that when you find a word that is very common uh, you will find a special symbol that is a key that tells you that this is a word that you should know because it's among the 3,000 words that are common. That Because it's inside the list of the 3,000 most common words used in English. Within the definitions, there are also some tables that help you use the word better like different words, similar words, words in the same family, words that you can use for similar situations or words that can be easily confused. 
uh, the dictionary helps you with that near the entry that you can have trouble with. This dictionary also has interesting features that are help with writing that I haven't seen in other dictionaries. Uh, writing an essay is, is very important when you're trying to get higher education and this book actually helps you with that. So it's a little textbook here um, for, from writing an essay to writing an email. So it's very useful. It also has a section for speaking and you will see that this information is also online, but it's a premium feature. A part that I like very much is the picture part. So there's like a small picture dictionary where you can find things that you learn by looking rather than by uh, reading the definitions. But when you look for these words in the dictionary, they'll tell you that there is an image, that there is a picture that you can go look for on a certain page, for example. And it ends sending you to the web page where you can find the premium resources, uh, the DVD that I have been using. Okay, this is what I wanted to show you. This is oddsforlearnersdictionaries.com. And here, without having an account, you can just look for any word. And this is information that we can use here as well as on the print that dictionary, like for example, the head word is dictionary, but it explains what kind of word it is. It's a noun. And here, remember the symbol I told you about for the Oxford 3000? This means that this is part of the Oxford 3000, that is the most common words in English. And this also tells us A1, that is, uh, I mean, an A1 student should know this word, for example. We have the pronunciation. Dictionary. British. Dictionary. American. And the plural. A dictionary shows us plurals when they are irregular. If not, in this case, the Y changes. So, And then we have the uh, definition. Some examples. And then additional information like on the topic education. Interesting. Okay, this is the free version. So I look for a word like I don't know, love. And I would like to add it to my word list. And for example, here it doesn't allow me to create um, a word list because I uh, haven't entered with my account. If I enter, if I sign in, and I already created a username and password when I first uh, signed up uh, with the code that is in my DVD. So now that I enter, I can see my, my personal word list. And when I look for a word, I will see no advertising. For example, what else uh, does the paid feature give me? Uh, the iWriter and the iSpeaker. These are very interesting tools, the iSpeaker and the iWriter. And um, you also have here a video of how to use the dictionary. And uh, that is the same that is at the beginning of the dictionary. For example, let's go to the iSpeaker. It's a course for speaking. It has four sections, sounds, exercises, conversations, and exam speaking. For example, in the sounds, we can listen to all the phonetic symbols that we have, and they also give us examples. We have exercises here, dictation, matching sounds, etc. Um, we have conversations, offering help, let's say. Let's go to American English. Now we will have the conversation, practice the conversation, studying it. It's very interesting. We have exams. In many exams to certify your English, they give you tasks and here you can practice those kinds of tasks. 
Another similar tool is the iWriter. The iWriter gives you models on how to write and then it also gives you um, like a blank space for you to write. Let's look at the models. Here we have the different models of writing and explanation of any of them, like for example, review. Uh, it gives you an example how you should structure it and then you can uh, write as well. So here's a text checker, it says. So I have to put some text here and this is supposed to analyze it or I don't know. Let's check it. Oh, pretty cool. I said this feature is so new that I have no idea how to use it. So it tells me that I should, I, I wrote like in an A2 level. Oh, and this says, oh, very interesting. I use one word from A2 and 13 words from A1. Oh, I love it. <sighs> so many things to do. Okay, so use them, please use them. I love this dictionary. I love really any dictionary, but I hope you too. And please comment and tell me which your favorite dictionary is or which one you like to have or which one you use. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share. I hope to see you soon.